Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a turn viewer, uh, thank you very much for the view time. I hope the videos are helping you helping you in your designing process. If they are, please, uh, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Help a brother out, right? <laughs> And uh, if you're a return uh, viewer and subscriber, a uh, greatest appreciations. Thank you very much. And actually, today's video about a tennis bracelet will be for a subscriber. So uh, hope it helps you out. Uh, to, uh, also, one last thing before we get going. May 15th to 19th, five days of uh, industry uh, events and discussion. Uh, please check out the uh, link below. Uh, hope to see you there. Uh, make sure if you there's more than one event that you'd like to sign up for, uh, you have to sign up for each event individually. So whatever events you would like to attend, uh, please sign up for them individually. All right. So let's get going on this tennis bracelet here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, just grab a gem and place it out there. I don't think there's many one carat uh, tennis bracelets. Uh, each stone, about what, 20 carat tennis bracelet? Uh, if there was, I, I would be making those like crazy. <laughs> Selling those, you'd make a ton of money, right? Uh, so let's go in here and I'll just pick like a five pointer. So we'll just do something that's kind of, uh, you know, probably normal. There's lots of five point uh, tennis bracelets that uh, make up each stone. Uh, so we'll hit this and then we'll take that. We'll go to our settings and we'll just grab a head. All right. And right away, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of get our angle fairly straight. Uh, and we want to mess around with that height, their overall height. We don't need it so high. We'll take it to about a, I don't know, 3.5, something like that. Somewhere around there. It's fine. Uh, we don't, I think, need those prongs that high. So we'll bring those prongs down a little. Uh, and yeah. And uh, I don't think we need them so thick either. So we're going to make them uh, about a point uh, eight five. Should be fine. It's um, somewhere around there. Make them a little bit smaller. And let's see here. What do we got? Uh, and I'm going to, you don't have to do this. This is what I'm going to do. But you can keep uh, these rails any shape you want. I'm just going to go ahead and change that rail a little bit and just make it square. Uh, just for the demo. But you can you can do whatever you'd like, of course. Uh, now let's hide our let's give it some shading and let's hide our stone here real quick. And that's way too thick in the center. So let's uh, go to four here and let's bump that out to maybe a six. Uh, yeah, about a six. And let's come up here to the top one and we'll just go here and bump that out to a six so that they're both the same. Uh, overall, let's, let's bring that stone back. Okay, we got a little gap each there. It's sticking out. We don't need it sticking out. So I'm going to drag it into a zero. Then I'll go to my bottom here. And I'll drag that outside into a zero because we don't need it uh, <clears throat> sticking out of our stone. We don't want that metal shown. Uh, we want the diamond to be uh, the main thing. Uh, so that's kind of our, our shape there, right? Okay, uh, and anything else I need to do? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, accept that. i got to be careful because what we're going to do next, we're going to break history. We will not be able to manipulate this. So uh, it's actually maybe a good time to just go ahead and job bag it. Uh, so we can always, if we need to, forgot something or whatever, we can go back in there and change it up. Uh, so let's turn, hide off our stone. Okay, that looks okay, and everything else is looking good. So let's keep on moving forward. Uh, now what I'm going to do is a little extraction. So I'm going to go grab a curve, and I'm going to extract an ISO curve, and I'm just going to take it from the side of my, uh, selects. Oh, okay, I can't take it from the side. Why? Because the thing is all grouped together. So I'm going to ungroup this. Uh, so I'll ungroup it. And actually, we need to go back because I want to point out something. Okay. Uh, before we get move on to this next step, uh, I ungrouped it uh, so I could get the extraction of the curve. But there's also another reason, too. Uh, if I just go ahead and select this and I just make a dupe, I just want to show this real quick and explain something. And then those prongs are right there. That That's a little bit more gap than I really want, right? Uh, maybe uh, not 
not so wide. So what I'm going to do is take one prong. I'm going to uh, rotate it from F4 uh, and then kind of bring it up around there someplace, right? And then I'm just going to delete all these. Uh, break history, like I said earlier. Uh, enter, enter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this over here. Uh, I'm going to take that prong and go to my transform uh, dynamic mirror, click on my X mirror and my multi uh, and hit enter. Okay. So now we have this. Uh, now if I take them and I uh, hold down alt and drag them out, uh, you can see that uh, it's closed that gap quite a bit, right? Uh, but the thing here is you, you want some kind of a gap. It doesn't have to, be, you don't want it real, real thick, but you don't want the stones touching, of course. Whenever stones are touching, uh, there's only one outcome and that's disaster. You're going to have those diamonds chipping if, if uh, they... Uh, uh, you know, if you bring it in something like this, where those prong, where there's no gap, right? Uh, and the because if the pro the bracelet bends in the up direction, those those stones will be clipping on each other, and and you're going to have uh, a, a customer complaining uh, most definitely because they're going to chip those stones. So you 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 want that little bit of a gap in there, all right? Uh, FYI, that's uh, kind of important. <laughs> Uh, you never never want diamond touching diamond or actually any stone touching any other or diamond touching any colored stone for sure. You're, that's that's a recipe for disaster. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so we got that. We got our setup. So what we're going to need to do now is that extraction. So we'll grab that curve, uh, ISO curve, and now we can select that ISO curve because we ungrouped everything, right? Uh, it might have placed it somewhere else. I just didn't see it, but uh, it didn't show me where I wanted it. So we just got rid of it. So we'll take that and then I'll go ahead, right click, bring it back and I'll click on my in top of my under bezel there uh, or lower bezel. Uh, and then I'll drag it out so it kind of just disappears right in there. And then I'll hit uh, uh, enter. So we got that. Now I'm going to go to my uh, split and I'm going to right click at point. And let's see, where's uh, this? Where's our direction? No, no, no. Yeah, here's our direction. So we'll go right to left. So actually, let's make sure my direction. So I'll just go to view and restore viewports. Give it this and then there we go. OK, uh, so there's our curves right now. I'll grab that right click on that split and then I will go in here. And I'm going to select my curve to split and hit uh, enter point to split at. Let's turn off those snaps here real quick. Uh, I want to pick as close to that center right there as possible. And then I want to swing around to this side and do the same thing. Kind of pick close as possible right there. Okay. And then I can take this and just delete it. We don't need it. All right. So we have all that. I'm going to turn off my purple, turn off my gemstone. And we have this here right so what i want to do is i want to uh, snip that outside so i'll just right click bring back that uh, point uh, uh, split and uh, go there and go around here that's fine and then we'll just select this side here and delete it uh, now what i'm going to do is go to my curves grab a line curve uh, and we'll change that to yellow and we will turn back on snaps and make sure our end snaps on and oh, center snap. Let's turn that off. Uh, and we'll go from that point to this point and I'll grab that curve, delete it, right click, bring back that, go there, there, and another one there, there, grab all that and join it together. Four curves joined into one closed curve. So we got this. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I didn't flatten them out first, but it's really easy to fix. I'm just going to select them, go to my transform and project a C plane. And uh, no, I don't uh, delete input. Yes. So there we go. Oh, wrong C plane. So I'll back out of that. I didn't have the right viewport activated. So that's this is the viewport, the top viewport. So I'm going to select them there, snap to C plane and hit yes. And it won't change the curves. It's just going to snap them to the C plane. So now I'll bring back my head. 
uh, and it's at my curve is at my C plane now, so I'm going to have to drag it down. So select on my curve and drag it down somewhere around here. Yeah, anywhere is fine. Uh, and then I will go to uh, my solids, uh, extrude planar. Whoop. One more time, uh, extrude planar and both directions, no, don't need it both directions, just one. And then just bring it somewhere up in there, right? And the reason why we brought that curve over is now that's one solid piece, right? So it's uh, it gives a little bit more thickness. If I would have just left those two curves, and it would have maybe been like a 0.3 or something like that, which would have been a lot uh, majorly too thin. So we're going to take that. Uh, that's why we made it a little thicker uh and then we'll uh mirror it over to f4 and hold down shift okay and then i will take uh that yellow and that yellow and change to this color here and i think i still have some yellow out there which is that and i'll turn that to gray we don't need it anymore. and turn gray off okay so we have this <clears throat> All right, uh, so now what we need to do is we need to get our hinge on there, all right? Uh, and we'll go to our uh, front viewport and our side viewport. And what we're going to do is go grab a curve, and you can use square or circle. Either one's probably fine. Uh, I'm going to use the circle for right now, and I am going to go in here and just kind of draw me a circle. Uh, point seven's a nice, heavy item that should be fine uh and let's see okay so i'm just going to uh hold down alt and duplicate that and bring it down so it goes all the way to the bottom there uh and then i'm going to go to my wireframe and i'm also going to go ahead and just grab me a box and just draw me a box around that and i'll explain this in a little bit yeah that's probably too thin uh well we'll take it here to the top you know so it kind of circles that uh basically it's it's just you're gonna flow solder in there so it, you're gonna lock all that up so it, it's uh but it's kind of thin right there right so maybe it's better if we that box will help uh the curve go up in there right uh and we'll have we want some, a little bit of meat there uh and that should be fine that's still quite a bit of distance uh in there We've got probably at least a half millimeter yeah yeah that's probably okay uh, for casting purposes it'll probably be fine uh and then let's see here okay so this is our uh item thus far and here's our stone uh so what we want to do here now is uh let's go to our front viewport uh we want our hinge to come out and then go down right uh so let's get uh something that we can kind of keep an eye on i'll go ahead and select all our item here and we'll just go ahead and take these two uh for viewing uh sake uh, and we'll just go ahead and drag that over to where it's going to be placed. And we'll close that up just a little. Something like that. Okay, so we have this, right? Uh, this is the one we're going to be working off of. Uh, so we want this one to... Uh, let's see, where is it at? Is it going into the top of our rail? Yeah, it is. So we want to drop that down just a little. We don't want it going into the top of our rail. Uh, we want it just below the top. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and then this one here, I am going to flip it 90 degrees. And then I am going to drag it over to my center here. Okay, so now this will be this direction here. Uh, and then I'll just drag that down just a little. Uh, maybe a little bit more we need some it'll it'll have to go over come down and then it had this part here will be bent over and soldered to this one here so that'll be our hinge uh, for this one to move 
all right and this one doesn't need to be uh, that far over we want it into we know that our uh, solid piece there if I go here uh, is straight across here right so we want it kind of in there right uh, so there's that all right so now I'm going to turn on my snaps and go make sure my center snaps on uh, and then grab a line curve and let's change the wireframe i want it right there in that mid and i'm just going to draw a long line over and then i'm going to go from my top view there and from that mid and then draw a line in order to get that uh center you don't want to try to be putting in the center you want to go to the curve you want and then it automatically snaps it to the center see what i'm saying so that's a kind of a key for uh uh, center snap all right uh, and then i'll just turn off uh, all this here real quick and we just want to work with these two uh, curves here and then i will do some trimming action okay let's get back out of that let's get this go to trim trim here trim here and then now we have this hit that go ahead and join those two together uh, and make sure they're joined together go to our cleanup uh clean up fillet basically and then we'll fillet them 0.5 should be fine and we'll just go ahead and take that now we can go to our surface one uh there's our rail there's our two profiles and hit enter and it gives me that thing there so, so this one's probably bent so let's just go ahead we'll take that and we'll just fix it uh, we'll go to our curve uh and go to edit from tools adjust seam curve enter and we'll bring this one down bring this one okay oh let's turn off our snaps here there we go uh turn back on our snaps turn off our center go to quad how's that uh and we'll just snap it there and then we'll hit enter we'll grab that one right click uh right click on it and where was it at the bottom there so it's here so bring it over to here and then snap it the other direction and hit enter and that should have fixed it for us and now let's just check our make sure we don't have any manifold edges or overlapping yeah there we go okay so we have that and let's turn back on our uh, head there and let's turn back on these things here and let's give it some shading and it's sticking out just a little bit i don't think that's anything really to worry about uh, but you can snip that off if you want to yeah. okay uh yeah looks good all right, so which one are we working off of here? Actually, we can fix it. Uh, we'll, we'll take the one on the center. Uh, that's the one we're going to keep, right? Okay, so we still have this square out here, right? So the square one, what we're going to do is click on it, and then we are going to uh, go to solids. We are going to extrude it uh, planar uh, both sides this time, and solid, yes. And we'll just ex extrude it uh, out past both of them right and what we want to do now see it has a little bit of uh, in there so before we do start going crazy on everything let's go ahead and uh, this is all separate so let's go ahead and get rid of this 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 and keep just this for right now uh, and let's do some Boolean union here real quick. So we'll do a Boolean union, uh, this, uh, enter with this and this and hit enter, enter. And then again, right click Boolean union, uh, not this, this surface here with, uh, this and this and hit enter. Oh, do this back out of that this surface here enter this and this enter enter and then right click again this surface here with this enter oh did it again 
this surface here enter with this surface enter enter okay so we have our green uh, light green so let's put light green and turn it off let's take this turn it off and let's take all of purple and turn it to gray and then let's take these curves here and turn them to gray so and we'll take this curve here and turn it to gray and bring back our item okay so this is all one piece this is very okay close poly surface all right so now let's see we want to uh get this thing uh fixed right now we can we can do a uh, uh, a boolean let's see let's just go ahead and do that uh we'll take uh, let's see this this surface here uh a boolean difference with this surface and hit enter enter and that got rid of our item there so that's not what i wanted to do let's take this surface enter with this surface enter and enter and it got rid of my item okay so let's bring back that okay so let's just do uh let's take this uh duplicate it just in case it does it again uh in place and we'll just hide it all right now let's do that so we'll take this uh boolean no 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 this boolean difference with this and hit enter and enter okay so we have this or this we don't need something happened there sorry board let's go back okay one more time oh that extrusion that's why we don't want that we just want the one p any other extrusion there's one okay let's get rid of that we don't need that this is okay and we do that so we have it just make sure show there's two of them and we'll go ahead and hide one of them okay all right uh so we'll take this surface we will do a boolean difference with this surface here and hit enter and enter okay uh so we have this and if you click on it it shows that piece that, that's so minute you probably could have just left it uh and then uh ungroup and take that delete it and then we'll just bring back our one we had duped and we'll take that and this and do oh not yet we don't want to join those together until we make this cut down here so we'll take this boolean difference with this and hit enter and enter and we have a dupe here is that the one I'll turn that to gray turn that to gray there's our cut yeah there's our cut right there right and uh that's where this piece here will go up and be tacked right there soldered right there so that'll be our loop for our uh, bracelet uh, and we have uh, this here right uh so we'll have to come back in here because we forgot to, i forgot to cut that hole out which is no big deal really but before i do that cut here let's just go ahead and uh, bring back all this did i duplicate did i i think i might let's go ahead and take this turn it blue hide it let's see if i fine there it is okay so we'll just take that we'll drag it over to here and then we will do an extrude out one direction this time both sides no just go this direction and you can see we got a little gappage there from the top so we're just going to uh, go ahead and hide all gray uh, which just gives us our one item out here uh, we'll take that we'll do a boolean difference with this uh, we'll take this right click uh, okay we'll take this boolean different what okay we'll try this one more time here we'll do boolean difference select first surface enter second surface enter enter and that we don't need anymore we just wanted that hole because that hole is where this will go through 
and then it will come down and then be tacked onto one neck uh, next to it and everything's looking good all right the only thing you got to do now is take this and this well take this boolean union second surface enter enter and take that one and get rid of it and then i'm just going to select all this go to my smart uh no duplicates okay select all curves no curves okay so we're good to go that's it uh and let's bring back our stone we'll just get rid of that one and there you go there's our pendant or our bracelet yeah good to go and what will happen is uh if you take it and uh bring it up uh, i can't grab anything today it's been a long day <laughs> trust me it's been a long day uh so we'll just move it out okay okay i broke it here uh move it out a little bit so we get a little oh my stone moved there we go okay so now you can see the prongs are right there this is all you'll be able to see and that's that's very minute and you might think well how's that going to move it it will uh once you tack it all together and you start uh you know playing around with it working it uh those links will move fine you don't want them to move a whole lot of course uh but uh they they will uh you will be able to get a bend out of them uh it's it's it'll work <laughs> um but there you go. That's kind of how you make the, the bracelet there. And, you know, really the only thing you need to do is just make one uh, and then make your class for it. I won't show that. We showed that in an earlier video. Uh, you can go to transform, uh, array, uh, linear, uh, 18 is fine. We'll hit uh, enter. And we'll just select somewhere around here and then drag them out to there and there you go there's your tennis bracelet pretty cool huh and that 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 gap is just very very minute so it, it it'll be fine and then the side view looks great uh you know so it'll be uh, no problems all right so hopefully the video helps you uh and it, if it does, please uh, leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. And thanks for watching. Good designing.